Hey guys, it's me again. I know it's been a while since uh, my last video, but I'm about to post uh, the new Godzilla X Kong, the new Empire spoiler review, so go ahead, get ready to check that out. So today we're going to be focusing on Godzilla Minus One, the movie that's been acclaimed as, um, that acclaimed the Oscar nomination awards. And I gotta say, that, I've been waiting for that moment for a long time. So. This is going to be spoiler free, so I'm just going to go straight to what are my overall thoughts for Godzilla Minus One. So, Godzilla Minus One is, I believe, a 30th live action Toho film. Maybe 37 overall Godzilla films. But, to the point. So, Godzilla Minus One is basically a brand new story, a brand new reboot that basically talks about during the World War II era or about to or is at the end of the World War II era where we have the Japanese soldiers that are basically recovering or about to lose the war. Our main character I believe is um, Shikishima. He is a kamikaze pilot that basically is facing and dealing with PTSDs and I guess feeling afraid for dying because he doesn't want to die for a lost war. One day he basically landed on Odo Island where the engineers are helping him fix it, claiming that the plane was malfunctioning, but it turns out to find nothing wrong with it. That's when until they realize that they're under attack by an unidentified monster, which was Godzilla, and started to kill all the engineers except the head chief and our kamikaze pilot. But the kamikaze pilot was instructed to shoot Godzilla with a 50 caliber weapon but fortunately he cowered away again because of it he feels shame then when he got back home everything was in rubbles lots of people who or some people who saw him recognized him thought he died because he was a kamikaze found out that he was dishonorably a coward basically so and because of him they lost everything through that he has dealing with depression and, and so on and so forth until he met um, I believe it's Kim Emiko or Kimiko correct me if I'm wrong but it's the one of the main female character and she's basically trying to take care of the baby that wasn't even hers so they begin to start rebuilding slowly and of course while they're rebuilding slowly Godzilla start to emerge because of the nuclear weapons that was being tested and start terrorizing Japan so they need to find out how they can defeat an indestructible force of nature to prevent any future losses. So this film is amazing. The story, the characters, and Godzilla himself is amazing. And honestly, I never thought this movie is going to be amazing. And I watched it like four times, three times in color and then one time in the black minus color Minus color, yes. It's the black and white version. Basically, he's trying to do like the old classic Godzilla films. But I gotta say, that was a really good Godzilla film. My father, he he didn't really like much of Shin Godzilla because it was talking too much. But when he watched this film, he said it's a little bit better than he, than he expected. Fortunately, my father is more of a monster on monster action. I'm, I'm basically neutral for all Godzilla films. And then I took my friends to watch it. They loved it too. And then I took my other friend to celebrate my birthday and she enjoyed it as well and her parents watch it on the different um basically in the different theaters but they enjoyed it as well and i'm just glad that godzilla minus one was getting getting all the attention it needs and especially winning a visual effects oscar award now that is a big deal to us now there's some people who basically don't like godzilla basically berating saying like yeah so what it's just it won one Oscar. Who cares? It cares to us because we waited nearly 69 to 70 years of this film to get an Oscar awards. Well, for me, it technically could be about 25 to 30 years because that's how old I am. But the point is, Godzilla winning an Oscar nomination is a very rare sight, especially under a budget of $15 million or even lower than that. But their details is amazing especially how they visualize Godzilla even though Godzilla is a little bit more slower and more robotic but it makes sense for the budget 
for how tight the budget is. But overall, this is an amazing Godzilla film. If you guys haven't seen it yet, do not worry. If you have VPN or you have Amazon Prime, then you can use that to switch it to, I think, to Japan or basically where you're from because I hear that Japan has it available for Amazon Prime for I don't know how much. But I don't know if they have the English subtitle or English dub. All I know is that it's there. But I'm still going to be waiting until the physical release is coming out. I'm more of a DVD person. I'm probably reaching or upgrading to Blu-ray, depending though. But overall, it's a really great Godzilla film. I love the characters. I love the design. And it is one of the best Godzilla drama films I've seen in a long time. Now, if we're going to be doing some comparisons with any previous films, I'm not going to be doing that because uh, I'm a little bit tight on my schedule for a moment and plus I don't want to keep comparing films maybe only if I needed to but honestly I don't want to keep comparing it and then people will probably ask me do I prefer this over Godzilla over the legendary Godzilla monsterverse I honestly don't care I will enjoy any Godzilla content as long as it's entertaining and it's know what it is because Godzilla X Kong, I know what it is. It's basically a monster on monster action. Godzilla Minus One, it's basically us surviving against a Godzilla attack. And I hope we have a sequel for this one because the director, Takashi Yamazaki, stated that if he is going to do a sequel, he wants to add an antagonistic monster for Godzilla. So we're not too sure who it is. But then again, that depends on Toho. However, I heard rumor, don't take my word for it, but I heard rumor is that Toho is moving forward to a Godzilla project and want to ask another director to direct another Godzilla film. So that could be a completely solo different Godzilla film, which disappoints me a little bit, but who knows? Anyways, I have to get going, and I thank you guys so much for taking your time. I don't know when is the next video I'm going to be uploading because I'm currently busy with my life unfortunately and I'm pretty sure and I hope you understand because when jobs come responsibility comes I have very limited time so yeah thank you guys so much until next time